Hi everyone, I'm Brian Yule, the Master Superintendent of Uplands Golf Club. Today I'd like to talk to you about bunker edge restoration. This bunker that I'm standing in here right now was built in 1984, so it's going on 37 years old, long past the life expectancy of a bunker. And over the years, these bunker edges start to grow in. Even though that we edge our bunkers seven to 10 times a year with string trimmers, it still doesn't stop the growth coming in and we start to lose the shape of our bunkers and you can see this bunker starting to flatten out and then on this far side over here this bunker is starting to come in so over the coming months the crew will be working on finding the original edge of the filter cloth of the bunker edge and then cutting back I have some great pictures to show you how aged bunkers start to grow in and what we're doing to restore the original shape of, of our bunkers. Before we look at restoring contours of a bunker edge, let's look at the anatomy of, of bunker construction. One of the first things we do is work from a plan provided to us by the golf course architect. We then start to shape the bunker edge with the small equipment as well as the bunker bottom. The next step is to install drainage to ensure our bunker can drain properly throughout the winter. And then the next step is installing filter cloth, which stops contamination of silt coming up from the bunker bottom as well as ensures the life of the drainage system. Approximately six inches of a silica sand is placed throughout the bunker bottom and then the project is completed within five to seven days. Each year we try to trim our bunkers every three to four weeks to provide a consistent edge along the bunker. But over time, with age, bunkers develop problems. For example, the ninth bunker, we see 36 inches of sand built up with a 25 years of play. And being so close to the redwoods, the roots actually got into the bottom of this bunker and caused the filter cloth to bulge up. So this bunker was rebuilt. Another bunker that we rebuilt was on the left of the 17th hole. This bunker was approximately 35 years old and it had 32 inches of sand built up from the original bunker bottom. The back edge actually had 42 inches. So once again we rebuilt this bunker, made it more fair for golfers to enjoy. When you look at the life of a bunker, from the various bodies in our industry, whether it's the National Golf Course Owners Association or the USGA or the American Golf Course Architects Association, they recommend bunker sand be replaced every five to seven years and bunker drainage pipes every five to 10 years. In other words, they're looking at about a 10 year lifespan for a bunker. In our case, we have many bunkers that are well past 30 years old and we do have a plan in place to build or rebuild many of our older bunkers but for now we're going to look at restoring some of the bunker contours or the edges of the bunkers. For example you look at this aerial photo of the fairway bunker on the left of number seven in 2013 there was some contours or some shapes to the bunker and flash forward to 2019 you can start to see how the bunker st starts to straighten out and the bunker basically loses its contour. So one of the first things that we need to do is work back and find where the original bunker edge was using shovels and finding the filter cloth. And in this case, this bunker in certain areas had gone growing in approximately 36 to 40 inches. So we start to cut back to where the yellow line shows where the original shape of the bunker is. So you take a bunker that was flattened out of years of growth, even though it's trimmed in or trimmed on a regular basis, now we start to restore the original shape. One of the first things that we need to do when we are restoring this is we have to dig underneath the bunker lip until we hit the filter cloth. And as some of the photos have shown, this can grow in 30 to 40 inches depending on the age of the bunker. Then we start to restore the bunker edge by cutting back as this yellow line shows on the back of the fifth green 
and as well number 12 green you can see the bunker on the left hand side of 12 this is growing in approximately tw 28 inches so they use shovels and cut the edge and then pitchforks and then we start to rake out the bunker to its original shape and then we take a bunker that has grown in over the years and provided the original contours so it's back to its original shape a little bit bigger but more visually appealing mm -hmm.